Welcome, everyone, to another stink postseason of White Pine League basketball. All the best are here. Nez Perce, Highland of Craigmont, Timberline of Pearson Weite, St. John's Bosco of Cottonwood, Kendrick, and Deary. Nothing is more exciting than the three-point buzzer beaters, clutch free throws, and the cheering crowd. It all begins with today's games, and you've arrived at the perfect place to hear them all. Now let's go courtside for all today's postseason basketball play. And good evening, everyone, to Kendrick, Idaho, and the home of the Kendrick Tigers and their gym. I'm Jeff Jones. Welcome to White Pine League Basketball. It's the 1A Division II basketball playoffs. These two teams, the Highland Huskies and the Kendrick Tigers, have their backs against the wall tonight. It is win and continue on in the tournament or lose and go home for the last time this basketball season. Uh, tonight, uh, we have four teams that remain in the White Pine League. The tr- seeds remain true. One, two, three, and four are in action tonight. Uh, number one is the Deary Mustangs. They are at home to face off against the number two, Timberline Spartans. And uh, this is uh, seeds three and four tonight. The Kendrick Tigers, the number three seed, facing off against the Highland Huskies the number four seed. Uh, we can go back just a few days uh, this past Saturday, as a matter of fact, to uh, figure out how these uh, teams got to where they were. Uh, Derry at home dispatched Highland on Saturday night, 77-43. to 43. That was game three. Uh, game four had the number two seed Timberline Spartans at home, and they had a squeaker against this Kendrick Tiger squad winning in the final seconds, 42-40. to 40. So with the victories by Timberline and Deary, they are now in game six this evening, being played at Deary High School. The winner will play for the championship in game number eight, which is scheduled for just two nights from now. Uh, the loser will face the winner of this battle that we're about ready to watch, the Highland Huskies and the Kendrick Tigers. And... Uh, These two teams, Highland and Kendrick, they have had some doozy basketball games this year, each club winning on the opponent's home floor. We're going to talk a little bit more about that as we move along through our uh, pregame show as well. Um, This uh, White Pine League District Tournament has been a fun one, to say the least. We started out with uh, six teams, uh, St. John Bosco, uh, and Highland in a play-in game, which took place on Friday last week. And then the Kendrick Tigers also had to play into the tournament, even though they were the number three seed. Kendrick had to play Nez Perce uh, here at Kendrick High School. And uh, the uh, higher seeds winning easily in both of those games. Highland with an 88-57 victory over St. John Bosco. And uh, Kendrick on this floor last Friday night, a game that we called uh, 67 to 31, the victors over the Nez Perce Nighthawks. So, as I said, uh, we're expecting a big contest here tonight because nobody wants their season to end. Uh, these Highland Huskies, uh, with a big offense showing in that first game on Friday night, only to have it cut in half uh, by uh, 45 points, as a matter of fact, in the loss to Deary on Saturday night. So the Huskies need to find uh, that shooter's touch once again. I talked with Patty Weeks as she was bringing the boys into the gym earlier, and I said, boys all good? She said, yep. I said, "Uh, anybody with any alleys? She goes, they wouldn't tell me if they did. And I said, that's when you stick the Band-Aid on it and say, get in there and play. She goes, well, we don't have Band-Aids anymore. We have the spray stuff. (laughs) Okay, spray it on there and get into action. Nez Perce Ag pregame show that you're listening to. I'm Jeff Jones. Hope you'll uh, continue to listen as we have got a barn burner for you tonight. It's the Highland Huskies and the Kendrick Tigers when we return after this. Now in their 22nd year of successful business with you, the Thomas Prairie Grower is Nez Perce Ag. Proud to back all the efforts of Nez Perce Nighthawk Athletics. Nez Perce Ag hopes you'll call on them for any of your farming needs custom ground spraying, dry fertilizing applications, and aqua machines for your worked or unworked field. 
Call Pat at Nez Perce Ag for any custom blended fertilizer products, 937-9909. Here's to our kids giving their all on the court, Nez Perce Ag. Best wishes to Highland and Nez Perce High School basketball teams aiming to become the 2021 Idaho State Basketball Champions from Columbia Green in Craigmont. Happy to bring you live coverage of the 1A Division II tournament and noon hour grain report. Columbia Green hopes the kids perform well on the court and in the classroom. Columbia Green also wish good luck to our local growers during the upcoming growing season. For the latest prices on winter peas, soft white wheat, lentils, and barley, count on Columbia Green. Columbia Green, here for you and our kids. You're an independent grower and ranch. At St. John Hardware and Implement in Nez Perce, we know you can't wait to apply crop protection. Your yield depends on it. Chase IH Patriot Series sprayers get you into the field sooner with a lighter footprint and balanced weight distribution. Plus, AIM Command Flex Advanced Spray Technology delivers consistent, accurate coverage regardless of speed and terrain, improving yield potential while reducing inputs in labor. Visit St. John Hardware and Implement in Nez Perce today. Football basketball teams during the 1A tournaments from everyone at Prairie Imperial Bowl. When was your last visit? The Prairie Imperial Bowl hopes you'll bring all your friends and family by for a great time. Keep in mind that the annual Bob Riggers Memorial Tournament will be held each weekend in March, and this year will be the biggest event ever. Come in today and sign up. The Prairie Imperial Bowl Craigmont, family fun every day of the week, and proudly backing our student-athletes of Highland High School. And we're back here once again at Kendrick High School, the site of game number four, or excuse me, rather five, the Highland Huskies and the Kendrick Tigers in White Pine League Boys District Basketball. I'm Jeff Jones. You're listening to the Nez Perce Ag pregame show. Both the clubs are out on the floor uh, taking their pregame warm-ups right now. The uh, Highland Huskies are wearing their black away jerseys trimmed in gold, gold numbers on the back and Highland across the chest. The uh, Kendrick Tigers are in their home whites, trimmed in black and orange, that uh, Kendrick K on the uh, left and right side of their shorts, and uh, Tigers across the chest. Well, it was quite the interesting season that these two teams had. As, uh, as we looked at the overall standings, uh, Deary finished the league uh, at the top of, of the league, nine and one overall. They were fifteen and two uh, overall. Excuse me, nine and one in conference. Uh, Timberline seven and two in league play, and they stood seven and eight overall. Kendrick again, as we said, the number three seed. They were seven and three in league play, eight and ten uh, in the overall picture. Uh, Highland uh, four and six in league. Uh, six and ten in uh, overall play, and then it was St. John Bosco, the five seed, two and seven, and Nez Perce, zero oh, and ten. However, in non-league action, Nez Perce did pick up a couple of wins. They finished two and fourteen. So, how did Highland and Kendrick fare with one another uh, this year? And as we said, it was it was quite interesting. It was only the third game of the season for the Highland Huskies when they got into Division Two league play. And uh, they ended up coming uh, or hosting uh, Kendrick at their place uh, at Highland on Saturday, December 5th. And uh, the Huskies would lose on their home court 48-45. to It was a squeaker that uh, uh, Kendrick was able to get, come away with that victory in uh, the final moments of that uh, December 5th game. But then uh, Highland would get a little vengeance as they would come here to Kendrick High School. And on this gym back on uh, January 19th, uh, just about one month ago, uh, they dispatched Kendrick by the tune of 62-52. to It was quite the victory for Highland as they shot exceptionally well from the floor. They played very, very good defense in that victory over the Tigers, holding them to just 52 points uh, on the evening. So uh, who has the advantage? It's difficult to say. I mean, you have to toss out the regular season records. We, we talk about this all the time. It's important that uh, 
Nobody thinks that just because you may have won a pair or even three or whatever that you are going to run away with it. These two teams split, and they won on each other's home floor. So does that give Highland the advantage? Possibly. We'll have to wait and see. You're listening to the Nest First Ag pregame show as uh, Kendrick and Highland continue to warm up here on the floor at Kendrick High School. Don't go away. We are coming back right after this on the Nest First Ag pregame show. You're an independent grower and rancher. The Northwest wheat and cattle prosper under your hands. So when you need a comprehensive financial protection plan for your agribusiness, you need an insurance agent that understands the independent spirit that keeps growers and ranchers the land. Your independent insurance agents in Craig Mons are Monty Madrell and Amy Arnson of Stonebreaker Macquarie Insurance. Speak with them about the fine points of their agribusiness plan. The opposing players meet at center court. The whistle sounds and the ball goes into the air. It's tip-off, and your team is in the postseason. Your longtime friends at Simmons Needle Enterprises wish all our area schools the best in their quest to win the postseason. Located in Orfino and Kamiak, Simmons Natal Enterprises knows just how much heart and soul these student-athletes put into their season. Simmons Natal Enterprises says good luck, teams, and bring home that championship trophy. Good luck, basketball teams, during the 1A tournaments from everyone at Prairie Imperial Bowl. When was your last visit? The Prairie Imperial Bowl hopes you'll bring all your friends and family by for a great time. Keep in mind that the annual Bob Riggers Memorial Tournament will be held each weekend in March, and this year will be the biggest event ever. Come in today and sign up. The Prairie Imperial Bowl Craigmont, family fun every day of the week, and proudly backing our student-athletes of Highland High School. Farmers, now's the time to make the decision to get the most from your land. Seed Zinc and our knowledgeable field personnel can help you to become the area's next processor of quality Kentucky bluegrass seed, a proven crop that will pay big dividends. Seed Zinc Kentucky bluegrass is the area's fastest growing investment. Call on Cameron Moore or field representative Ben Schumacher at Seed Zinc, 937-9896. Seed Zinc, backing high school athletics. And we're back here once again at Kendrick High School, the site of the 1A Division II White Pine League Boys District basketball play. Game number five tonight, the Highland Huskies. They are playing for their tournament lives as they face off against the Kendrick Tigers in this loser-out battle. Uh, you take a look at Highland and uh, Kobe Drugmiller uh, the other night uh, in a contest up at Deary, the number one seed. Uh, Kobe came away with six points. Uh, and he was an absolute force, but they will definitely need more offensive uh, off output from him. Dalton Davis, so far in this tournament, in the two games, he has 19 points. And then Ty Hambly, this young man scored 13 points in the uh, victory, or excuse me, the loss against Derry, but in the uh, first round victory uh, that they had over St. John Bosco, Ty had 29 points. So right now in this tournament, he has 42 points. And then the same with Lane Wassman. Lane with 15 points. He was the high scorer for Highland this past Saturday night in the contest up at Deary. He scored 28 points in the victory at home over St. John. And so they will need another big night from Lane tonight if the Huskies hope to keep uh, their tournament uh, hopes alive. Noah Watson... Uh, two points uh, this past Saturday night. Uh, he had three in the first game against St. John. Uh, Crow did not score uh, in Saturday night's game. He did have four points uh, at St. John Bosco. And then uh, Ty Geckner, uh, Ty with uh, just two points on Saturday night. Uh, he did have four in the victory against St. John Bosco. So it's imperative that Number one, when the bench players do come in, and we're talking about Case, Watson, Crow, and Geckner, they're all going to have to have quality minutes and give the starters a little blow. They're going to need a little rest. And so when it's time uh, for them uh, to go out on the court, they're going to have to, number one, make sure that they don't allow the defense to lapse. And then number two, 
they are going to have to put the points up on the board if they're going to hope to have a chance against this Kendrick squad. All right, don't go away. More with the Nez Perce Ag pregame show when we return after this. Growing every day to meet the needs of the Camas Prairie farmer, Nez Perce Ag, celebrating their 22nd year in business. Nez Perce Ag wishes to thank the many growers who choose the custom blending machines as their number one source of dry fertilizer and chemical needs. With 2,000 ton of dry fertilizer storage on hand, Nez Perce Ag continues to meet the needs of our area farmer. Custom blended or straight, call on Nez Perce Ag for your choice. Backing the Nighthawks, Nez Perce Ag. Proud to back the efforts of student-athletes of Nez Perce and Highland High Schools are your friends at Cottonwood Community Federal Credit Union. With offices in Fregmont, Nez Perce, Coosie, and two locations in Cottonwood, you can be sure the fine folks of Cottonwood Credit Union will be there when you need us most. Share draft accounts, home equity loans, or a Visa credit card. If you're not already a member, call or stop by today for more information. Cottonwood Community Federal Credit Union, become a member today. At St. John Hardware and Implement in Nez Perce, we know you can't wait to apply crop protection. Your yield depends on it. Chase IH Patriot Series sprayers get you into the field sooner with a lighter footprint and balanced weight distribution. Plus, AIM Command Flex Advanced Spray Technology delivers consistent, accurate coverage regardless of speed and terrain, improving yield potential while reducing inputs and labor. Visit St. John Hardware and Implement in Nez Perce today. The opposing players meet at center court. The whistle sounds and the ball goes into the air. It's tip-off, and your team is in the postseason. Your longtime friends at Simmons Needle Enterprises wish all our area schools the best in their quest to win the postseason. Located in Orton, Nolan County, Simmons Needle Enterprises knows just how much heart and soul the student-athletes put into their season. Simmons Needle Enterprises says good luck, teams, and bring home that championship trophy. Good luck, basketball teams, during the 1A tournaments from everyone at Prairie Imperial Bowl. When was your last visit? The Prairie Imperial Bowl hopes you'll bring all your friends and family by for a great time. Keep in mind that the annual Bob Riggers Memorial Tournament will be held each weekend in March, and this year will be the biggest event ever. Come in today and sign up. The Prairie Imperial Bowl Craig Month, family fun every day of the week, and proudly backing our student-athletes of Highland High School. And we are back here once again at Kendrick High School for the starting lineups for the Highland Huskies and the Kendrick Tigers. In alternating fashion, they will be announced to the crowds here. Let's start with the visitors on the scoreboard, the Highland Huskies. They are coached by Patty Week. She is assisted by Ariel Bencomo and Trace Brammer. Kobe Drugmiller will get a start. He is a senior at six foot. Dalton Davis is a 5'11 senior. Ty Hambly, a sophomore on the squad at six foot one. Lane Wasmith is a five foot eleven senior, and then DJ Antone is a senior as well at five foot ten. So again, it's Drug Miller, Davis, Hambly, Wasmith, Antone. For the Kendrick Tigers, they are coached by Mr. Tim Silflo. He's assisted by Tim Olson and Brian Lawrence. They will start Jagger Hewitt. He is a five foot ten sophomore. Hunter Taylor, a freshman on this squad at five foot eight. Dallas Morgan, six foot three, also a freshman. Uh, Rylan Hogan is a senior. He is at six foot. And rounding out the five for the Kendrick Tigers, Talon Alexander. He is a five foot seven senior. So again for the Tigers, Hewitt, Taylor, Morgan, Hogan, and Alexander. As quite the crowd on hand here for the Tigers. Uh, the home crowd is off to our left. As the uh, Highland Huskies are seated right below me here at Kendrick High School. As the uh, teams gather at center court. And we have somebody from the crowd who has come out onto the floor who's going to hold play up. And he is going to ask for uh, the Tigers to stand up and uh, give a big cheer. 
<laughs> everybody with a big smile on their face. For Kendrick in the center jump, jump circle, uh, Ty Cop, and across from him is Hambly. The ball is in the air, and the tip is controlled by the Tigers as they attack the basket to our left. Anderson, Talon Anderson, dishes down into the left corner, Taylor. Taylor on the left elbow, down in the corner. Cop, Cop wants to drive baseline, tries to put up a shot, muscles one up. Ball is loose, and in the rebound re- collected by Hambly, and here come the Huskies across the 10-second stripe. Wasmuth dribbles down to the left side. Here's a short shot on the way by Drug Miller. It is no good, and the rebound taken away by the Tigers. The other way, going coast to coast, is Hewitt. His shot is up. It's no good. Gets his own rebound. He double pumps, and he'll be fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. The foul is on the Huskies, and let's see who they put up there. That is 2-2. That is Anton, his first personal, team's first. And so the Hewitt at the free throw line. First free throw, bounces off the rim. It is no good. Thank you for listening in to our game tonight, brought to you in part by Columbia Grain and Craig Mott and St. John Hardware in Nez Perce. Here's the second free throw now, and it rolls in and out and back in. So Hewitt scores the first point, 7 minutes, 20 seconds. Here in the first quarter, we are just now underway. Driving to the basket, Wasmith, he wants to go. Now he'll dish to Davis. Davis back to Wasmith, baseline, tries to get under the bucket, lays it up off the window, and it's good. So Lane scores the first field goal of the game, 2-1 to one in favor of the Huskies. In the paint, Hewitt dishes off Cop to Taylor. Taylor back to Hewitt on the left elbow. He'll dribble between the circles, feeds right side Anderson. Anderson, baseball pass, now down into the corner. Hewitt, underneath, wide open, a shot put up by Hogan, and there's the first field goal for the Tigers. They lead it 3-2, to two. and the bad pass goes out of bounds intended for Antone, and so the turnover gives the ball back to Kendrick. 6.31 here on the clock. Thanks for listening in here on KLER Orfino. Anderson, Talon dishes, and now it ends up into the corner to Hewitt. Hewitt dumps it in underneath. Here's the shot by Cop. It's no good, and the rebound taken away by the Huskies and Hambly. Hambly across midcourt. Now it'll be Wasmuth who drives, puts one up off the rim. It rolls off. Cop with the rebound. Quick down court pass. Anderson lays it up on the left side. It falls off the rim. Rebound shot put back up by Hogan, and it's good. Ryland Hogan with his second field goal. It is now 5-2 to two in favor of the Cats. Hambly. Quickly, they'll move the ball around. Davis, Drug Miller, and bad pass inside. Stolen away. Anderson, now he'll dish off on the right side. Ball falls off the rim. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Davis. Huskies want to run with it. Now they'll dump it in onto the right side. Hambly, and his shot over to Drug Miller. Rolls off the rim. No good. Hewitt. Hewitt in the paint. Left side. Lays it up off the window and it's good. 7-2. Timeout called. And we will do the same with our score. 7-2 to two in favor of the Cats. We will come back right after this. Good luck basketball teams during the 1A tournaments from everyone at Prairie Imperial Bowl. When was your last visit? The Prairie Imperial Bowl hopes you'll bring all your friends and family by for a great time. Keep in mind that the annual Bob Riggers Memorial Tournament will be held each weekend in March, and this year will be the biggest event ever. Come in today and sign up. The Prairie Imperial Bowl Craigmont, family fun every day of the week, and proudly backing our student-athletes of Highland High School. Well, we are back, and Patty Weeks uh, wisely calls a 30-second timeout wants to make sure things don't get out of hand as the Huskies with the ball down by 5-7-2. Wasmith has the ball picked out of his pocket as he gets to the top of the key, and what are we going to have, a jump ball? And the possession arrow will favor Highland. And so Wasmith will play it in just to the left of the Kendrick bench. Hambly, baseball pass in the paint. It goes out of bounds. It will remain with Highland. 
last touched by Talon as he reached that big mid in there and knocked it away. Wasmith, ball high above his head, feeds it in. Hambly, Hambly gets to Drug Miller, back to Hambly, right wing extended, right corner. Wasmith in the paint, goes to the bucket, and he is fouled on his way up. So let's wait and see. This will be the first foul, 1-4. That looks as though it will be on Hogan, his first, team's first, shooting foul. And so Wasmith will have a couple of opportunities here. First one is up, and it is nothing but net. Best wishes to the Huskies from Hometown Auto and Egg, Cottonwood, and Bell Equipment. Highland Husky backers here during the White Pine Tournament. Second free throw is off the front of the iron. No good, and the rebound taken away by Kendrick. Huskies will drop back into that 2-3 zone. Anderson drives. Now he'll feed off to the left. Gives to Cop. Cop cross-court pass to Hewitt. Hewitt shot for three on the way. No good. Rebound underneath. Put back up by Cop, and it's good. 9-3. Our score in favor of the Tigers. Hambly gives to Davis. Davis feeds left side drug Miller in the corner. Wasmith now underneath it goes to Hambly and he'll put it up. Hambly gets his first field goal, 9-5 our score now. Hewitt on top of the key. Now with the dribble he gives to Anderson. Anderson between the circles. And Anderson wants to drive, lays it up on the left side. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. I believe this is going to be on Hambly. We will wait and see. They do put it up as his first personal. It's the team second. Anderson's first free throw is good. Thank you for listening, basketball fans. Simmons Natal Enterprises and Ness Per Seg, happy to bring you the play-by-play of the Highland Huskies. Here's Talon's second free throw. And it bangs off the rim. No good. Rebound taken away by Hambly and the Dogs. Down by 5, 10-5. Hambly feeds Wasmith back to Hambly. Underneath, lays it up on the right side, and it's good. Nice give and go. 10-7, and the Huskies fight their way back to within three. Hewitt guarded out front. Right side, Hogan. Hogan feeds into the corner. And now a long three from Kopp on the way. It's short. Rebound underneath, put back up, and it's good by Kopp or checked out by Hogan. Hogan with six points here in the period. We're halfway through the first quarter of play, 12-7. Wasmith. Hambly. Out on top, Davis. And Davis's pass is knocked away. Coming up with it, the loose ball. Antone. Antone puts up a short jumper. It's no good. Rebound off the hands of Kendrick. It will remain Highland basketball, 12-7 our score with Kendrick leading. Highland with the ball just to the right of their own bucket. Wasmith stacks the offense, and the pass is stolen away by Hewitt. Hewitt's going to run with it, lays it up on the right side. It's good, and he's fouled. Count the bucket. The foul looks as though it's on Davis, his personal team's third. And so trying to make it the three-point play is Jagger Hewitt. He's one for two. Free throw rolls out. It's no good. And the rebound taken away by Highland. Wasmith, or uh, Hambly rather. Hambly wants to drive. We're going to have a blocking foul. This on Cop, his first personal. That is the team's second. Wasmith. Playing it in. Dumps it in outside. Hambly wants to go up. Instead feeds outside. Antone. And now here's a three-pointer on the way by Davis. It's no good. Rebound. Fought for underneath. Away with it is Wasmith. Wasmith drives left side. Puts it up. It's no good. Wasmith with the rebound. And now here's a long three-pointer on the way by Hambly. And it's good. Hambly seven points. 14-10 our score. Anderson feeds down into the left corner. Here's a shot by Taylor. It is no good, and the rebound goes off the foot of Hambly out of bounds. The ball will remain with the Cats. 
14-10, 2 minutes 12 seconds remaining here in the first period of play. Cop will play it in. Looking, 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 and the ball is tipped and stolen away. Quickly, Hambly wants to go to the bucket, and he has the ball go off this foot out of bounds. Turnover on the Huskies with 2.06 here in the period. Taylor plays it in. Hewitt will bring it up. Hewitt across the way to Anderson. Anderson goes around a screen, thinks about a three, instead dishes to cop. Hewitt, Hewitt in the paint, dumps it in underneath. Reverse lay in is up and good by Cop. 16-10 the score. Kendrick with the lead. Hambly feeds out on top. Davis now left side Drug Miller. Drug Miller wants to drive, instead goes to Hambly. Hambly, nice little footwork there. Terminates his dribble. Now he's in a bit of trouble. He'll get the ball to Drug Miller. Back to Hambly once again. Man to man defense. And trying to drive with it. We're going to have a reach in foul as Wasmith was on his way to the bucket. White 1 1. That's Cop, his second personal. Team's third. Now substitution coming in. Cop will come in and having a seat is Morgan. Huskies playing it into the right of their own basket. Dumping it back in. Wasmuth at the baseline. Has it taken away momentarily. Gets it back. Davis wants to drive. Now he'll dish out to Wasmuth. Bad pass. It's hauled in by Antone. Antone left side. Hambly. Hambly wants to go around a screen. It's not there. Hambly behind the back dribble. Now Losing the ball, Wasmith will come up with it, and we're going to have a reach and foul. Let's see, he didn't catch. We'll have to wait for it to go up on the board. 3-2, that's Anderson. And the Huskies playing the ball in. Wraparound pass, and it's stolen away underneath. Hewitt comes away with it. Right side, Anderson. Steps inside, 17-footer. Rims in and out, no good rebound. By Hogan, he'll dish out left side. Taylor, and the ball is stolen away. Hambly lets the pressure go by. Now he'll cross the 10-second stripe. Here's a three on the way by Wasmuth, and it's good. Wasmuth, six points in this first quarter. We're down to the final 20 seconds of this first period of play. 16-13, Kendrick with the lead. Taylor feeds across the way. Hewitt dumps it in underneath. Hogan lays it up, and it's good. Five seconds left in this period. Wasmith to the top of the key. Wraparound pass right side. Shot by Hambly is no good at the end of the buzzer. Our score, 18-13 in favor of the Kendrick Tigers. One period in the books. We are back after this. Farmers, now's the time to make the decision to get the most from your land. Seed Zinc and our knowledgeable field personnel can help you to become the area's next processor of quality Kentucky bluegrass seed, a proven crop that will pay big dividends. Seed Zinc Kentucky bluegrass is the area's fastest growing investment. Call on Tamron Moore or field representative Ben Schumacher at Seed Zinc, 937-9896. Seed Zinc, backing high school athletics. Proud to back the efforts of student-athletes of Nez Perce and Highland High Schools are your friends at Cottonwood Community Federal Credit Union. With offices in Craigmont, Nez Perce, Cooski, and two locations in Cottonwood, you can be sure the fine folks of Cottonwood Credit Union will be there when you need us most. Share draft accounts, home equity loans, or a Visa credit card. If you're not already a member, call or stop by today for more information. Cottonwood Community Federal Credit Union, become a member today. We're back here. We've got ourselves a doozy of a basketball game. Kendrick with an 18-3 advantage right now over Highland. They have the ball to start the second quarter. Hewitt, man-to-man defense by the Huskies. Anderson left side. Now he'll feed out on top. Taylor, Taylor on the dribble. His pass to Anderson's knocked away, but Anderson's able to reel it in. He'll bring the ball between the circles now, trying to set up the offense. Terminates his dribble. Gives to Taylor. On the left elbow, Taylor on top of the key. Now he'll push up a three, and it's good. 
Taylor drops three in, 21-13. The other way, Hambly wants to go to the bucket, and we're going to have a blocking foul. 1-2. That is Dallas Morgan. That's his first. It is the team's fifth. And Highland will play it into the right side of their own bucket. Bounce pass to Antone. Antone feeds out on top. Davis wants to go, and the shot is no good. But he's fouled, and he'll go to the line to shoot, too. And this ticket will go on 2-3. Is that correct? I don't believe. 3-2, uh, rather. That's uh, Talon Anderson, his second. The team's sixth shooting foul. First free throw. Bangs off the rim. It's no good. Our game brought to you by Cottonwood Community Credit Union, Prairie Imperial Bowl, and Dave's Auto Repair. Best wishes to the kids at Highland High School. A 60-second timeout. We are coming back right after this. Working to make your community of Craigmont a beautiful place to call home or your neighbors who are members of the Lions Club. The Craigmont Lions Club invites you to their next meeting, always held the third Wednesday of every month at Woody's Bar at 6.30. Join them as they participate in the highway cleanup, serve burgers during the June picnic, or collaborate in the community Easter egg hunt. Craig Ma Lions Club, happy to help sponsor broadcasts of Husky Basketball. The opposing players meet at center court. The whistle sounds and the ball goes into the air. It's tip-off, and your team is in the postseason. Your longtime friends at Simmons Needle Enterprises wish all our area schools the best in their quest to win the postseason. Located in Orton, Mullen County, Simmons Needle Enterprises knows just how much heart and soul the student athletes put into their season. Simmons Needle Enterprises says good luck, teams, and bring home that championship trophy. And we're back here once again at Kendrick High School after the timeout called by Coach Soflo. Back to the free throw line is Dalton Davis. As he missed his first free throw, he'll get the second now. And here is his second opportunity. It misses the iron as it uh, clanks off the window, but missed the iron completely. And so, Rick will have the ball. Full court pressure applied now by Highland. Trapped in the backcourt. Long baseball pass down court. And the passes underneath is stuffed away, but coming up with it is Hewitt, and he'll pick up his sixth point. 23-13, 10 point advantage now by Kendrick. Hambly, hands off. He'll get it right back. Davis, now to Drug Miller between the circles. Wasmith on the left wing. He'll dump it in underneath. Tried to muscle his way around, put the shot up as Hambly. It goes out of bounds. Last touched by Morgan of Kendrick. And so Highland will retain possession. 6.46 on the clock. And they'll go to Hambly on the right side. Wasmith, Wasmith in the key. Muscles went up and it's good. Wasmith with his, and losing the ball in the backcourt is Hewitt. Now he'll make a pass and it's, Batted out of bounds as the full court press really bothering Kendrick right now. 23-15 our score. Kendrick with the ball. They'll have the ball in the front court. Hewitt gets the trigger pass from Boyer. And now Taylor. Left elbow. On top. Morgan. Morgan looking for somebody. He'll get it back to Taylor. Taylor feeds to Hewitt. Between the circles, Hewitt drives into the paint, has the ball taken away from him. Ball is loose. Coming away with it is Davis, but he traveled with the ball. He just couldn't control it after coming up with a steal, and he actually cradled it and took a couple of steps. Tigers with the basketball, 6.09 remaining here in the second period. Kendrick with a 23-15 lead. Hewitt to Taylor. Taylor will give to Boyer on top. Hewitt. Hewitt looking for an opening. He'll give to Taylor on the left wing. Now a three on the way from Hewitt, and it is good. Jagger Hewitt hit that from almost the volleyball line. 544. 
on the clock. 23-15 in favor of Kendrick Highland looking to get back into this one. Drug Miller cut off, gets out to Davis on the left wing. Hamby, and now a three-pointer from Wasmith. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Boyer and Kendrick. Up court with it is Hewitt. Hewitt, baseline, put the shot up, it's rejected. Taken away by Hambly. Hambly, up the right side. Behind the back dribble. And now he'll lay one up on the right side, misses it. Gets his own rebound and puts it back up. Ty Hambly, he's got nine points for the Huskies. 26-17. Kendrick with the ball and the advantage as Hewitt in the right corner. Now he'll give out to Taylor. And we have a kicked ball. And substitution coming in for the Huskies. Crow will come in and Davis, or excuse me, Drug Miller will sit down. So Gage will take a little time to tie his shoe once he gets into the basketball game. We're ready to go now. Taylor will trigger the ball in for Kendrick. It's to Hewitt. Hewitt on the dribble. Now he'll go left side, Taylor. Taylor dumps it in underneath, and it's stolen away by Hambly. Hambly up the left side of the court. Trying to set up the offense. Feeds to Wasmith on top. Now Wasmith drives, puts up a floater, rolls out, no good. Rebound taken away by Hogan. Up court with it, Hewitt in the left corner. Taylor, Taylor dumps it in underneath to Hogan. His shot is no good, and the rebound comes away the way of the Huskies. Here's Crow on the right elbow. Takes a trap dribble, feeds over. Now the left side, Wasta. Out on top, Davis. Back to Crow. Crow in a bit of trouble, gets rid of it. Davis. Davis will give to Hambly. Out near the time stripe. We're under four minutes to play here in the second quarter. Crow wants to drive baseline. Reverse layup, and he is fouled hard as he was not in the best position. One, two, Dallas Morgan. That is his second personal. It's the team's seventh. And now Crow will have an opportunity to put a couple of points up here on the board via the charity stripe. First free throw is off the front of the iron. It's so good. Craigmont Lions Club, Stonebreaker, McClary Insurance, and Steve Zink are Highland Husky backers here on KLER or Fino. So Gage will get the second free throw. And it rims out. It was there. And then now we have a foul on the rebound. That ball was three-quarters of the way down the hoop, and then with the English it had, it just came right back out. Hewitt with the ball. Foul was on Hambly, his second, team's fourth. Kendrick with the ball. And a rejected shot as Hewitt was going up for it and just flying in to check that shot. I think they just put the foul up on the wrong person, though. One, two, Hambly. Here's the free throw. It's no good by Hewitt. He'll get the second. Here's the second free throw, and it is good. So Hewitt will hit one of two. The Tigers up 26 to 17. Wasmith in the paint, puts up a short jumper, it's no good, gets his own rebound, has it taken away, however the Huskies get it right back, Hambly on the right elbow, Wasmith down in the corner, here's a shot by Gage for three, and it's off the back of the iron, and the Huskies get the rebound once again, Hambly wants to go baseline, tries to go around a screen, he's cut off, now he'll get the ball into the hands of Antone, Antone now Gage underneath, reverse layup, and it is good by Hambly. Good ball movement by the Huskies, 27-19. They find themselves down by eight. Three minutes remaining here in the second quarter of play. Anderson feeds Hewitt. Hewitt wants to drive the key and tries to put up a shot, but he's fouled. We'll wait and see. 2-2, a block on Antone. That's his second personal. It is the team's fifth, and so to shoot a pair, 
Anderson's first shot, or rather, excuse me, Hewitt's first shot is good. Thank you for listening into our game. It's brought to you by Hometown Auto and Egg, Cottonwood, and Bell Equipment. That's Purse. Here's the second free throw, and it, too, is good. So Hewitt adds a couple more to give the Tigers now a 10-point advantage. Ball is saved in uh, by uh, Antone. He just whipped it in. It went right off of the face of Hewitt, but he was on the end line. And so Tigers will have the ball with two and a half minutes remaining here in the period. Anderson will feed to Cop, gives to Hewitt, Hewitt to Anderson. Right side, he'll put up a 10-footer, and it's good. Callan Anderson has just scored his first field goal, giving the Tigers a 31-19 edge over the Huskies. Hambly finds a wide-open gauge, but he just let him too much. And we have a substitution coming in for Kendrick. It is Morgan who will come in, and having a seat is Hogan. 31-19, 31-19, Tigers on top of the Huskies, and it's a loser-out affair. Hewitt on the dribble, guarded by Davis. Feeds to Cop. Cop to Taylor. Taylor on top of the circle. Anderson. Now Hewitt on the left wing. Underneath, they'll put a shot up. That's Morgan. His shot is no good, but getting the rebound is Cop. Cop for three. It's short. Rebound taken away by Hewitt. They'll have three opportunities, the Kendrick Tigers will. We're at a minute 35 remaining here in the second quarter of play. Dump it in underneath. Here's a turnaround by Morgan. It's good. 33-19 in favor of the Tigers. Gage, left side. His pass is batted away. Picking it up, however, is Wasmuth. Wasmuth finds a wide open hand tone underneath. The guinea would not drop. It just laid up there and fell off, and now... The pass is stolen away the other way. Wasmith driving it up the left side. He lost it in the backcourt. He got it back. Underneath, wide open. The shot is up and good by Hambly. We're under a minute to play here in the period. 33-21. Kendrick going to slow it down on the other end. Taylor gives to Cop in the corner, and the ball is stolen away. Wasmith. One-on-one, lays it up on the left side, and it's good. Lane Wasmith with nine points. Timeout, a 30-second break. Don't go anywhere. We will come back right after this. The opposing players need it center court. The whistle sounds, and the ball goes into the air. It's tip-off, and your team is in the postseason. Your longtime friends at Simmons Needle Enterprises wish all our area schools the best in their quest to win the postseason. Located in Orfino and County, Simmons Needle Enterprises knows just how much heart and soul the student athletes put into their season. Simmons Needle Enterprises says good luck, teams, and bring home that championship trophy. And after the timeout, uh, 33-23, our score. We're only 37 seconds away from the end of the first half. And uh, the Tigers with the ball. Anderson, left side. He'll feed out on top. Morgan. Morgan feeds to Hewitt in the right corner. Pass underneath to Taylor. Let him too much. Turnaround jumper by Taylor. It's no good. Rebound. Swap for coming away with it is Cop. Cop will put it up from underneath the basket. No good. Rebound shot by Morgan. It's no good. And he will go to the line to shoot two as he was fouled. And it looks as though the foul is going to be on Wasmuth. We'll wait until they put it up on the board, though. 4-0, excuse me. And, of course, we do not have a 4-0 to report to you. First free throw is good. Morgan will get the second. And it rolls out. No good. Wasmith with the rebound. Quickly, the pass up court. Gets it to Davis. Davis wants to go. He'll hand off. 40. 40 is good for his first two points. Four seconds left. Here's the shot for three. It is no good, and that's the end of the first half of play. The Tigers up 34 to 25 over the Highland Huskies in this do-or-die situation of the White Pine Lake Boys District basketball play. Don't go anywhere. We are coming back right after this. 
no matter where folks live, in Cottonwood, Kamei, Nestor's, Craigmont, or anywhere in between, they choose Hometown Auto and Egg for all their car and truck repairs. Because of the trusted names of Federal Mogul Parts and the highly trained mechanics you see there every day. Visit with Pat about a loose oil and filter change, or let Hometown Auto and Egg provide you with a complete safety inspection, from tire pressure and wear to batteries, headlights, and wiper blades. Hometown Auto and Egg, Cottonwood, Backing Highland, and Nestor's High School. Best wishes to Highland and Nesper's high school basketball teams aiming to become the 2021 Idaho State Basketball Champions from Columbia Grain in Craigmont. Happy to bring you live coverage of the 1A Division II tournament and noon hour grain report. Columbia Grain hopes the kids perform well on the court and in the classroom. Columbia Grain also wished good luck to our local growers during the upcoming growing season. For the latest prices on winter peas, soft white wheat, lentils, and barley, count on Columbia Grain. Columbia Grain, here for you and our kids. It's lawn and garden equipment season at Bell Equipment in Mel's Purse. Come into your John Deere dealer today and look over the many new lawn tractors to get your spring and summer lawn work done efficiently. Bell Equipment urges you to pre-order now. Get up to 0% interest and the tractor of your choice by the beginning of the cutting season. Up to 0% financing up to 84 months. It's the best deal on the best lawn tractor equipment you'll find. Pre-order today at Bell Equipment in Mel's Purse. Wishing the Nighthawks good luck. Now in their 22nd year of successful business with you, the Camas Prairie Grower is Nez Perce Ag. Proud to back all the efforts of Nez Perce Nighthawk Athletics, Nez Perce Ag hopes you'll call on them for any of your farming needs. Custom ground spraying, dry fertilizing applications, and aqua machines for your worked or unworked field. Call Pat at Nez Perce Ag for any custom blended fertilizer products, 937-9909. Here's to our kids giving their all on the court and as per SAG. Farmers, now's the time to make the decision to get the most from your land. Seed Zinc and our knowledgeable field personnel can help you to become the area's next processor of quality Kentucky bluegrass seed, a proven crop that will pay big dividends. Seed Zinc Kentucky bluegrass is the area's fastest growing investment. Call on Cameron Moore or field representative Ben Schumacher at Seed Zinc, 937-9896. Seed Zinc, backing high school athletics. And we welcome you back once again to Kendrick High School, the home of the Tigers for this, the uh, elimination game, game number five, where uh, the winner of this contest will continue to fight on in the White Pine League District uh, uh, to Division II uh, basketball tournament, while the loser will be done for the season. Let's uh, just take a quick look uh, through our scorebook here. Uh, the Kendrick Tigers right now with a 34-25 to 25 advantage uh, here at the half. Uh, Jagger Hewitt, he has nine points from the field. He is four of six from the free throw line. Hunter Taylor has one field goal, uh, uh, trifecta for three. Ty Cop two field goals for four. Uh, Dallas Morgan, he has three points on uh, one of two field, uh, free throw shooting and a field goal. Um, Ryland Hogan, pretty quiet in the second quarter. However, he scored eight points in that first period of play. Uh, Talon Anderson, uh, three points on one of two free throws and a field goal. For the uh, Highland Huskies, uh, Dalton Davis, uh, 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Uh, Ty Hambly, he has uh, six field goals uh, for 13. One of those uh, was uh, his third one, as a matter of fact, to close out the scoring in that first quarter of play was a uh, trifecta. Uh, Lane Wasmith, he has four field goals for nine, also with a three-pointer. He's one of two from the free throw line. Uh, Gage Crow uh, with an opportunity. Uh, from the free throw stripe, he was 0 for 2. And uh, Ty Geckner, it was Ty who uh, uh, picked up that foul coming in off the bench. But he has a field goal for two points, and that makes the 25 up on the scoreboard for the Highland Huskies. More of the Nest Per Sag pregame show coming up. Don't go away. We'll be back right after this. It's lawn and garden equipment season at Bell Equipment Nest Purse. Come into your John Deere dealer today and look over the many new lawn tractors to get your spring and summer lawn work done efficiently. Bell Equipment urges you to pre-order now. Get up to 0% interest and the tractor of your choice by the beginning of the cutting season. 
up to 0% financing, up to 84 months. It's the best deal on the best lawn tractor equipment you'll find. Free order today at Bell Equipment Nest First, wishing the Nighthawks good luck. The opposing players meet at center court. The whistle sounds and the ball goes into the air. It's tip-off, and your team is in the postseason. Your longtime friends at Simmons Needle Enterprises wish all our area schools the best in their quest to win the postseason. Located in Orkney, Nolan County, Simmons Natal Enterprises knows just how much heart and soul these student athletes put into their season. Simmons Natal Enterprises says good luck, teams, and bring home that championship trophy. Working to make your community of Craigmont a beautiful place to call home or your neighbors who are members of the Lions Club. The Craigmont Lions Club invites you to their next meeting, always held the third Wednesday of every month at Woody's Bar at 6.30. Join them as they participate in the highway cleanup, serve burgers during the June picnic, or collaborate in the community Easter egg hunt. Craigmont Lions Club, happy to help sponsor broadcasts of Husky Basketball. Proud to back the efforts of student athletes of Nespers and Highland High Schools are your friends at Cottonwood Community Federal Credit Union. With offices in Craigmont, Nespers, Cooski, and two locations in Cottonwood, you can be sure the fine folks of Cottonwood Credit Union will be there when you need us most. Share draft accounts, home equity loans, or a Visa credit card. If you're not already a member, call or stop by today for more information. Cottonwood Community Federal Credit Union, become a member today. Thank you for listening in. It's the 2021 District 2 Boys Basketball Tournament, the Idaho 1A classification D2. As, again, uh, the Highland Huskies and the Kendrick Tigers fighting for their tournament lives here, the winner will go on to game number seven, which is scheduled for tomorrow evening. Uh, And they will play the loser of the Deary Timberline Contest. Deary, the number one seed. Uh, They lost one league game all year long, and that was to the Timberline Spartans up at Pierce Weite. This game is being played at Deary, and so uh, should uh, Timberline uh, come out as the uh, victor of that one, uh, they will await um, the uh, winner of the loser's bracket and play in game number six, uh, or excuse me, game number eight, which is scheduled for uh, Thursday night. Um, Deary, they have hosted, uh, this is their second game that they've hosted now, and they hope that they'll host uh, tomorrow night as well. One final break. When we come back, we're going to be uh, taking a look at the start of the second half. Don't go away. We'll return after this. Growing every day to meet the needs of the Camas Prairie farmer, Nez Purse Ag, celebrating their 22nd year in business. Nez Purse Ag wishes to thank the many growers who choose the custom blending machines as their number one source of dry fertilizer and chemical needs. With 2,000 ton of dry fertilizer storage on hand, Nez Purse Ag continues to meet the needs of our area farmer. Custom blended or straight, call on Nez Purse Ag for your choice. Backing the Nighthawks, Nez Purse Ag. At St. John Hardware and Implement in Nespers, we know you can't wait to apply crop protection. Your yield depends on it. Chase IH Patriot Series sprayers get you into the field sooner with a lighter footprint and balanced weight distribution. Plus, AIM Command Flex Advanced Spray Technology delivers consistent, accurate coverage regardless of speed and terrain, improving yield potential while reducing inputs and labor. Visit St. John Hardware and Implement in Nespers today. Good luck, basketball teams, during the 1A tournaments from everyone at Prairie Imperial Bowl. When was your last visit? The Prairie Imperial Bowl hopes you'll bring all your friends and family by for a great time. Keep in mind that the annual Bob Riggers Memorial Tournament will be held each weekend in March, and this year will be the biggest event ever. Come in today and sign up. The Prairie Imperial Bowl Craig Month, family fun every day of the week, and proudly backing our student-athletes of Highland High School. Best wishes to Highland and Nespers High School basketball teams aiming to become the 2021 Idaho State Basketball Champions from Columbia Grain in Craigmont. Happy to bring you live coverage of the 1A Division II tournament and noon hour grain report. Columbia Grain hopes the kids perform well on the court and in the classroom. Columbia Grain also wished good luck to our local growers during the upcoming growing season. 
For the latest prices on winter peas, soft white wheat, lentil, and barley, count on Columbia Grain. Columbia Grain, here for you and our kids. We are back once again to Kendrick High School, the site of the 2021 District 2 Boys Basketball Tournament. And the Kendrick Tigers and the Highland Huskies getting set for 16 more minutes of basketball. Right now, uh, Kendrick averaging 17 points a quarter and uh, Highland averaging 12.5. The Huskies looking to step it up a notch as we start the second half. The Huskies with the basketball. It'll be Drug Miller. On the left elbow, feeds Wasmuth in the corner, wraparound pass. Drug Miller, now he'll go right side, Hambly. And the ball is stolen away. The other way quickly, Hewitt, he'll lay it up on the right side, and it falls off the rim. Rebound taken away by Kopp, and his shot is up. It's no good, but he will go to the line. And let's just see who the uh, foul will be assessed upon. It is on... Drug Miller, that is his first, team's first here in the second half. Cops' first free throw is good. Our game brought to you by Columbia Grain and Craigmont and St. John Hardware and Nez first backing the Highland Huskies. Here's the second free throw. It's off the back of the iron, no good, and the rebound taken away by Kendrick. Here's a three by Hewitt, and it's good. Jagger Hewitt, holy Toledo, lit it up from way outside. Wasmuth and the Huskies, right side. Wasmuth gets it right back. Now he'll feed out into the corner. Wasmuth, Hambly. Hambly feeds Wasmuth on the right elbow. Now on top, Drug Miller. Drug Miller goes around three defenders. Pass is fed underneath to Davis, but it was too tall. He couldn't haul it in. Turnover on the Huskies. 38-25. Right now, the Tigers have come out scoring four points since we started the period a minute ago. Taylor feeds to Hogan. Hogan, bounce pass, and it's, uh, although I'll say it was tipped into the backcourt. Hewitt gets it back, gives to Anderson. Anderson, right-handed, now the left-handed dribble, gives back to Hewitt. Hewitt goes around a screen. He'll put up a three. It rolls off the rim, no good. Rebound taken away by Hambly. Hambly in the front court. Hambly wants to go all the way, has the ball knocked away. It's picked up by Drug Miller. Give off to Wasmith. Wasmith's gimme is no good. And now Hewitt and the Husky are the uh, Tigers the other way. 38 25. Advantage to Kendrick. Out on top. Cop. Cop for three, and it's good. Ty Cop scores his seventh point from the field. 125. Wasmuth feeds underneath. Going up with the ball, traveling with the basketball. It looks as though it's Anton, and so a turnover on the Huskies. Having a seat is Drug Miller. And uh, coming in for him is Watson. And so with the ball down in the left corner. Cop feeds out on top. Taylor back to Cop. Cop wants to drive into the paint. Puts up a leaner. It's no good. The rebound taken away by Hambly. Hambly tries to go around a defender and gets knocked over, but he's in the front court. Feeds to Wasmith. Wasmith wants to go. Feeds left side now. That's Watson. Watson dumps it in underneath, and we're going to have a blocking foul. No, they're going to stay traveling with the basketball. But it's Hambly as he tried to go around a defender, and he walked with the ball. It has not started out well for the Huskies here in the third period. They have been outscored. It's 41-25. Anderson. Kendrick. Feeds Taylor. Cop. And now to do it baseline, and I think we're going to have a blocking foul. We'll wait to see who the foul is on here. 3-0. That's Watson's first personal. It's the team's second shooting foul. So Hewitt is 4 of 6. His first free throw is good. Our game is brought to you by Cottonwood Community Credit Union. Prairie, Imperial Bowl, and Dave's Auto Repair, Craigmont. Here's the second free throw now by Jagger. And it, too, is good. 
43-25. Washman goes around a screen. He's cut off, dumps it in underneath. Running down the loose ball is Hambly, and he gets pushed out of bounds. Anderson just gave him a little nudge. Goes out of bounds just to the left side of the Husky bench. Wasmuth to play it in. And so a loose ball is picked up the other way. The foul was on Anderson. Drug Miller. Uh, defensively trying to reach him for the ball. Anderson, he's going to go over. He's got a give and go, and he comes up with one right underneath the bucket. And a timeout is called by the Huskies. Don't go away. We will come back right after this. Best wishes to Highland and Nesper's high school basketball teams aiming to become the 2021 Idaho State Basketball Champions from Columbia Green in Craigmont. Happy to bring you live coverage of the 1A Division II tournament and noon hour grain report. Columbia Green hopes the kids perform well on the court and in the classroom. Columbia Green also wished good luck to our local growers during the upcoming growing season. For the latest prices on winter peas, soft white wheat, lentils, and barley, count on Columbia Grain. Columbia Grain, here for you and our kids. After the timeout, we welcome you back once again. A 20-point advantage for the Tigers right now as uh, Kendrick has got everything going its way. Highland having a difficult time trying to get to the basket. For the Hambly, for the Huskies, he's cut off and the pass is stolen away by Hewitt. Uh, Underneath, shot is blocked out of bounds as trying to go up with it with Cop. And he receives a hard check underneath the bucket. The foul is on Watson, his second personal. It's the team's third. It's a two-shot foul. So Ty, who's 50% from the line, hits his first one. He'll get the second shot. Is This game is brought to you by our friends at the Craigmont Lions Club. Stonebreaker, McCrory Insurance, and Steve Zink. Second free throw is no good. And so Cop remains at 50% from the free throw strike. On top, Watson. Watson will get the feed, and the pass underneath is stolen away by Cop. 46 25. Kendrick with the basketball and the advantage. On the dribble is Cop. Cop dumps it in underneath for Hogan. Hogan wants to put it up, and his shot is taken away. Hambly. Hambly looking to try and get something going underneath the bucket. We'll feed Watson. Watson with a trap dribble. Now he'll go out on top. Davis. Davis will feed Wasmith. Left side of the lane, and it's good. Wasmith has 11 points from the field, 46-27, and it breaks that scoring drought of four minutes here in the third period of play. Driving with the basket, we have a foul on the floor as Anderson was looking to attack. And so, wholesale substitutions coming in for Kendrick now. As uh, sitting down are Taylor and Hogan. The foul was on Gage Crow. And the shot underneath is no good on a quick uh, inlet pass to Clemenhagen. And a pass stolen away once again. As coming away with a loose ball, Cop, he'll lay it up. It's good, and he's fouled. Cop went to the bucket, and he took a hard check in the side, but he got the basketball to fall somehow. And getting a little push in the rib cage was from Ty Hambly. So the free throw is good by Cop. It makes our score 49-27. Davis gives to Watson. Watson feeds underneath. Wasmith who lays it up. Wasmith with 13 points now, 49-29. Back to that 20-point disadvantage for the Huskies there, trying to find the defense that will shut down Kendrick's shooting. And losing the ball out of bounds was Mason Anderson who came in at that last buzzer, and so the Huskies will get the ball back. 2.42 here in the third period of play. Wasmuth picks the ball up near midcourt, gives Davis. 
Watson. Watson cut off. Wasmith on the left elbow. Feeds out on top. Hambly. Hambly to Gage. Underneath. Cut off there is Wasmith. He wanted to go up with it. Had to turn around. Now he'll drive the bucket once again. Has the ball stripped away. Gage underneath. His shot is no good. Crow's second shot. No good. And we have a foul underneath the basket. Substitutions coming in for Kendrick as Taylor will come in. The foul was on Talon Anderson. That's his fourth personal. It's the team's second. Davis feeds in the paint, and now we have a, no, not a reach-in foul, but unfortunately for Lane, he traveled with the basketball. Looked as though he might have had somebody get him on the arm. He lost the ball, picked it back up, but they say he traveled. Officials all over this one tonight. Cop on top of the circle. Feeds to Boyer, and it's stolen away. Left side, Davis lays it up on the right side. Dolphin Davis picks up his first field goal of the evening with a minute 49 remaining here in the third period of play. Taylor, 4-3, air ball. Saved, uh, they're going to say somebody stepped on the line. There were two Tigers there to try and save it in, but they stepped on the line. Wasmus will have the ball to start it in. Gives to Hambly and then right back to Wasmus. Now back to Hambly in the front court. Davis gives to Watson, and we have a timeout by Patty Weeks. Uh, we will take a timeout as well with our score. The Kendrick Tigers on top of this one, 49-31. to 31. We're back after this. At St. John Hardware and Implement in Nesford, we know you can't wait to apply crop protection. Your yield depends on it. Chase IH Patriot Series sprayers get you into the field sooner with a lighter footprint and balanced weight distribution. Plus, AIM Command Flex Advanced Spray Technology delivers consistent, accurate coverage regardless of speed and terrain, improving yield potential while reducing inputs and labor. Visit St. John Hardware and Implement in Nesbers today. Working to make your community of Craigmont a beautiful place to call home or your neighbors who are members of the Lions Club. The Craigmont Lions Club invites you to their next meeting, always held the third Wednesday of every month at Woody's Bar at 6.30. Join them as they participate in the highway cleanup, serve burgers during the June picnic, or collaborate in the community Easter egg hunt. Craigmont Lions Club, happy to help sponsor broadcasts of Husky Basketball. Well, we have one minute and 28 seconds remaining here in this third period. Wasmith will trigger the ball in, and he gets it right back as he'll work between the circles. Man-to-man defense. Left side to Watson. Watson's shot is up. It's no good. Rebound taken away by Gage Crow. Gage will feed left side. Gets to Wasmith. His shot is up, and it's no good. Rebound quickly. Down court pass to Taylor. Taylor lays it up on the left side, and it's good. Hunter Taylor, he has five points in the basketball game, 51-31. Under one minute to play here in the third period. Wasmith dumps it in underneath, and the ball is loose, taken away by Boyer. The Tigers, right side, Taylor. Taylor will feed the cop for three. It's off the back of the iron, too strong. Rebound by Hewitt. So Kendrick will have another opportunity with 30 seconds remaining here in the period. Hewitt left wing extended. Out on top to Anderson. That's Mason Anderson. Gives to Boyer. And now a long three on the way by Hewitt. It's no good. Rebound ran down by Kendrick once again. And it's a loose ball. And a scrum on the floor. It's still loose. And now the Huskies have it. Wasmith feeds down to Gage. Back to Wasmith. Wasmith baseline, puts it up, it's good, and he's fouled. Lane Wasmith will pick up the bucket and the foul. It is on 2-1. That's Mason Anderson. It's his first, team's third. Here's the free throw. It's off the iron, no good by Wasmith. And quickly, down court pass. 
and a shot at the bucket, at the buzzer. There was no buzzer. Are they going to allow them to continue to play? There's zeros on the clock. That's the end of the third period. Don't go away. We'll return right after this. Farmers, now's the time to make the decision to get the most from your land. Seed Zinc and our knowledgeable field personnel can help you to become the area's next processor of quality Kentucky bluegrass seed, a proven crop that will pay big dividends. Seed Zinc Kentucky bluegrass is the area's fastest growing investment. Call on Cameron Moore or field representative Ben Schumacher at Seed Zinc, 937-9896. Seed Zinc, backing high school athletics. The opposing players meet at center court. The whistle sounds and the ball goes into the air. It's tip-off, and your team is in the postseason. Your longtime friends at Simmons Needle Enterprises wish all our area schools the best in their quest to win the postseason. Located in Orphan, Nolan County, Simmons Natal Enterprises knows just how much heart and soul these student athletes put into their season. Simmons Natal Enterprises says good luck, teams, and bring home that championship trophy. Well, we are back to the start of the fourth quarter. Kendrick with the basketball. Hewitt feeds in underneath to Morgan, who wants to put a shot up. He's cut off. Now he'll feed out to Cop. Here's the shot on the way. Rolls off the rim. No good. Rebound shot. Put back up, and it is good by Morgan, and that extends the Kendrick lead by 20, 53 to 33. The other way, laying it up, it's no good. The shot by Davis, and the rebound goes the way of the Tigers. 53-23, a timeout. It's just a 30. We will come back right after this. At St. John Hardware and Implements in Nesford, we know you can't wait to apply crop protection. Your yield depends on it. Chase IH Patriot Series sprayers get you into the field sooner with a lighter footprint and balanced weight distribution. Plus, AIM Command Flex Advanced Spray Technology delivers consistent, accurate coverage regardless of speed and terrain, improving yield potential while reducing inputs and labor. Visit St. John Hardware and Implement in Nesford today. We're back here once again as a quick 30-second timeout called for by the Kendrick Tigers. Our score, 53-23, Kendrick. Hewitt will continue to run point for the Tigers as he is met out front by Davis. Feeds to Clement, or excuse me, rather, Boyer in the corner to Hewitt once again. Now he'll, on the dribble, brings it out, feeds Taylor on top of the circle. They just play catch back and forth between the two. Now it's Morgan who comes out. On top, now the right side, Taylor. Morgan. Morgan wants to drive, has the ball stripped away momentarily. Here's a shot on the way by Taylor. It is no good off the front of the iron, and the rebound taken away by the Huskies. Wasmuth wants to run with it. In the paint, goes with it. A turnaround, layup, it's no good, and the ball goes out of bounds. Wow. Wasmuth just flew in there, did a 360 underneath the bucket, and laid it up with his right hand, but... It missed the iron and went out of bounds. 53-33, our score. Kendrick by 20. Taylor feeds left side Boyer. Boyer's pass inside is stolen away, and Huskies with it. Wasmuth. Wasmuth feeds out on top as it's Hambly. Hambly cut off. He's in trouble, has the ball stripped away from him by Boyer. Hewitt to Boyer for three. His foot was on the line. It was on the line. Boyer with two. His toe was just on the line, 55-33. Left side, it's Watson, and he has the ball taken away from him quickly. Hewitt lays it up on the right side. It's no good, but we're going to have a blocking foul on Lane. That, I believe, is his first foul. We'll wait and see as they... Put it up, it is. It is his first foul. It's the team's sixth. And to shoot two is Jagger Hewitt. Jagger's first free throw finds its way home. Thank you for listening in. Simmons Natal Enterprises and Nespers Ag are happy to back the play of the Highland Huskies all year long. Jagger's second free throw now is also good. 57-33. 
Wasmuth and the dogs up in the front court. Hambly, Wasmuth, left side, thinking about a shot was Davis. Now a long three on the way, no good by Watson, and the rebound taken away by Wasmuth. His little floater on the way off the back of the iron, no good. Gets another rebound, lays it up off the window. It's no good, but he's fouled. So Wasmuth, Wasmuth rather, will go to the free throw line. He'll have a pair here. The foul is on Hogan. That's his second personal, team's fourth. Wasmuth's first free throw is good. Our game brought to you by Simmons Natal Enterprises, along with Hometown Auto and Ag. Having a seat as Taylor and Cop comes in for the Kendrick Tigers. Here's the second free throw now. And this one rolls in and out and then back in. Shooter's touch there by Wasmuth, 57-35, our score. Cop feeds Anderson. Anderson dumps it in underneath. Morgan wants to lay it up, has to pass off instead. Now here's Anderson from three in the corner. It's good. Talon Anderson, he's got seven in the basketball game. 60 to 35. Wasmuth, a long three, and it's off the back of the iron. No good. Gets his own rebound. Feeds over on the right side, Hambly. Hambly wants to go baseline. He's cut off. He's out on top. Davis. Davis drives in the paint. Feeds left side. Here's Wasmuth for three. It's off the iron. No good. Rebound underneath by Hambly, and he is fouled. So Hambly will go to the line. He will shoot two. And the foul is on Morgan. That's his third personal. First free throw is up and nothing but net for Hambly. That is his first free throw of the game. Columbia Grain and the Craigmont Lions Club, along with Stonebrook and Macquarie Insurance, are backers of the Huskies. Hambly's second free throw is down and it pops right back out. So one for two from the strike. Cop and the Tigers. Talon Anderson, left side. In the paint, wraparound pass, gives to Hogan, who lays it up. Hogan scores his first bucket ever since the first quarter. Fighting his way into the lane, Hambly lays it up. It's no good. Rebound goes to Boyer. Boyer's pass up front, and traveling with the basketball was Anderson. He thought he had a terrific move, but he walked all over the floor. And so substitutions coming in for the Huskies as Drug Miller will come back in and having a seat is Geckner. Drug Miller left side, almost lost the handle on the basketball, gives to Wasmith. Wasmith pass left side. Here's a shot by Davis off the side of the iron, no good. Rebound taken away by Morgan, and it goes out of bounds. It'll remain with the Tigers. 62-36 in favor of Kendrick. And we have less than half of the fourth period of play remaining here in regulation. For the Tigers, it's Cop. He's going to feed Boyer. And out on top, they'll give to Hogan. Hogan on the dribble. Now he'll dump it in underneath, and the ball is loose, and it'll go out of bounds. It'll remain with Kendrick. Huskies were there for a steal, but unfortunately the ball just did not bounce their way. They couldn't get to it in time. Cop plays it in. Anderson, right wing extended, drives into the paint. He's going to put the shot up. It's no good. We're going to have an offensive foul on Callan Anderson, and that, I believe, is his fifth personal foul. And Anderson will sit down as he fouls out with three minutes and 24 seconds on the clock on an offensive charge. Hewitt comes in to replace him. The Huskies have Washman. Feeds to Hambly. Davis. Davis to Hambly. Feed in underneath. Here's a little shot put up. It's no good by... Is that Watson? No, excuse me. That's uh, Antone. 
he's fouled. He will go to the line. He has not been to the free throw stripe tonight. He will shoot two as the foul is on Morgan. That is his fourth personal. First free throw is good. So DJ will find his name in the scorebook tomorrow. Uh, substitution for Kendrick. As checking in is Mason Anderson, and Dallas Morgan will sit down. Here's the second free throw now by DJ. High, and it clanks off the front of the iron. No good. Rebound, Cop and the Tigers. He's cut off at midcourt. Gets to Hewitt. Hewitt dumps it in underneath, and the ball is saved in. Goes back to Hewitt, who puts the shot up. It's no good. No foul. And so quickly, the Huskies move the ball downfield, and it's down court, and it's stolen away by Boyer at the other end, but he traveled with the basketball. And so that will give the Huskies the ball back with two minutes and 44 seconds. Timeout is called by Patty Weeks. Don't go away. We will return after this. Growing every day to meet the needs of the Camas Prairie farmer, Nez Perce Ag, celebrating their 22nd year in business. Nez Perce Ag wishes to thank the many growers who choose the custom blending machines as their number one source of dry fertilizer and chemical needs. With 2,000 ton of dry fertilizer storage on hand, Nez Perce Ag continues to meet the needs of our area farmer. Custom blended or straight, call on Nez Perce Ag for your choice. Backing the Nighthawks, Nez Perce Ag. No matter where folks live, in Cottonwood, Kamei, Nespers, Craigmont, or anywhere in between, they choose Hometown Auto and Ag for all their car and truck repairs. Because of the trusted names of Federal Mogul Parts and the highly trained mechanics you see there every day, visit with Pat about a new oil and filter change, or let Hometown Auto and Ag provide you with a complete safety inspection, from tire pressure and wear to batteries, headlights, and wiper blades. Hometown Auto and Ag, Cottonwood, backing Highland and Nespers High School. And on the inbounds play, the Huskies lose the handle on it, turn it over to Kendrick as we have two and a half minutes remaining in regulation. We're going to have a foul in the backcourt, and that's going to be on Davis, his second personal, team seventh. And so now we will go to one and one as Jagger, who has just been almost money all night long, first free throw is good. Our game is brought to you, friends, by Hometown Auto and Egg, Cottonwood, and Bell Equipment. They're Highland Husky backers. Here's the second free throw now. And it's off the front of the iron. No good. And the rebound taken away by Anton and the Huskies. Here's a long three put up there by Hambly. It's no good. Goes out of bounds. It was last tipped, however, by Boyer. and The ball will stay with Highland. Wasmuth will trigger the ball in for the Dogs. Gets out to Davis. Davis feeds to Drug Miller. Down in the corner, once again to Antone. Antone's pass is tipped away, and Kendrick comes away with another loose ball. Hewitt in the front court. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining in a regulation of this one here. For It's Mason Anderson for Kendrick. And he'll try and dump the ball in underneath, and it's taken away by Hambly. Hambly up into the front court. Cut off. Looking now, he'll put up a floater. It's no good, but he's going to draw a foul. He just could not find anybody to get rid of that ball to. So Jagger Hewitt will pick up his first personal. And it's a shooting foul, and so Hambly is one for two. First one is good. Thank you for listening in to our game on AM 13 KLER or, you know, brought to you by Cottonwood Community Credit Union, Prairie Imperial Bowl, and Dave's Auto. Hogan will have a seat for Kendrick. Here's Hambly's second free throw now. And it's no good. Watchsmith with the rebound. His floater up there. It's too hard off the side of the iron. And we have a jump ball. And the Huskies will have possession. Wasmuth triggers the ball in the left side, gives to Hambly. Hambly goes into the keys, throws up a prayer, misses, but he's hacked on the arm. And it looks as though it's 1-1. Ty Kopp, his third personal. Team's seventh. 
And so now to the free throw line, Hambly, who was just there a moment ago, he'll have another opportunity. One is good. Thanks for listening. Simmons Natal Enterprises, Craigmont Lions Club, Stonebreaker Macquarie Insurance are backers of the Huskies. Here's the second free throw. It's no good as it rolls off the iron, and Kendrick with the rebound. And in 38 seconds remaining in this one, as Hewitt in the front court. Man defense by the Huskies. Hewitt goes around everybody. Now he just dribbles right underneath the basket and comes around the other way. A minute 23. As Hewitt tries to drive, now he'll send it out the right side. Boyer for three. It's no good. And the rebound taken away by Kopp and the Tigers. A minute 10 remaining in this one. They'll feed out to Hewitt between the circle. Hewitt in no hurry. The Huskies not looking to foul. Right side, Taylor. We're under 60 seconds in this one. Taylor goes, walks all over the place, lays it up on the left side, and it's good. What a move. 65-39. Huskies the other way, looking to make this somewhat respectable. A layup no good by Hamley. However, the putback is good. And it is 65-41. 30 seconds remaining in this one here. Do it on the left-handed dribble. Hewitt looking for someone to go to. Now he'll dump the ball off, and it's off of the foot. It looked like off of Mason Anderson. It was, and so the Huskies will have the ball with 18 seconds left. The rest of the bench will come in for the Tigers. Wasmuth will play it in with 18 seconds left. Hambly will pick it up with that amount of time, goes into the front court. Hambly a long three, and it's good. Ty Hambly scores his 18th point from the field, eight seconds, and losing the ball out of bounds is Gunnar Bruce. And so Highland will have one more opportunity with six seconds left to put a bucket in. Hambly gets it, drives into the paint. Goes left side. Shot for Davis for three. High off the window. No good. And that is the ball game. 65-44. to 44. The Kendrick Tigers dispatch the Highland Huskies here in this game number five of the District 2 basketball tournament. Our post game, when we return after this, you are listening to basketball from Kendrick High School and the White Pine League. I'm Jeff Jones. This is the Nest Purse Ag Postgame Show. Now in their 22nd year of successful business with you, the Camas Prairie Grower is Nez Perce Ag. Proud to back all the efforts of Nez Perce Nighthawk Athletics, Nez Perce Ag hopes you'll call on them for any of your farming needs. Custom ground spraying, dry fertilizing applications, and aqua machines for your worked or unworked fields. Call Pat at Nez Perce Ag for any custom blended fertilizer products. 937-9909. Here's to our kids giving their all on the court, Nez Perce Ag. Good luck, basketball teams, during the 1A tournaments from everyone at Prairie Imperial Bowl. When was your last visit? The Prairie Imperial Bowl hopes you'll bring all your friends and family by for a great time. Keep in mind that the annual Bob Riggers Memorial Tournament will be held each weekend in March, and this year will be the biggest event ever. Come in today and sign up. The Prairie Imperial Bowl Craigmont, family fun every day of the week, and proudly backing our student-athletes of Highland High School. You're an independent grower and rancher. The Northwest wheat and cattle prosper under your hands. So when you need a comprehensive financial protection plan for your agribusiness, you need an insurance agent that understands the independent spirit that keeps growers and ranchers on the land. Your independent insurance agents in Craig Mont are Monty Madrell and Amy Arnson of Stonebreaker Macquarie Insurance. Speak with them about the fine points of their agribusiness plan. Well, we're back to wrap this one up from Kendrick High School, the final Kendrick 65 Highland 44, and with the loss, the Highland Huskies are now out of this tournament as uh, Kendrick will now await the loser of tonight's Deary Timberline game uh, as uh, there are just three teams that remain 
in the tournament. Let's quickly run over the scoring. Uh, for the Kendrick Tigers, Jager Hewitt, the game's high score with 21 points. Hunter Taylor, 7. Ty Kopp with uh, 12. Dallas Morgan uh, with 5. Uh, Rylan Hogan with 10. And uh, Talon Anderson, 8 points this evening. For the Highland Huskies, uh, Dalton Davis with uh, 2 points. Uh, Lane Wasmith with 18. DJ Antone, 1. Um, uh, Ty Geckner, one field goal for two. And sharing uh, tonight's high point uh, game honors, uh, Ty Hambly, he finishes with 21 points tonight. Uh, that is going to wrap up our coverage of the Highland Huskies uh, and uh, the White Pine League Boys Basketball Tournament. We encourage you to listen in for the Timberline Spartans as we will continue to follow them during the basketball play. Uh, for everyone at the KLER studios, I want to thank you for listening in. I'm Jeff Jones, KLER. Thank you for listening in to today's fast-paced, hardcore action of White Pine League basketball. Our broadcast has been brought to you by many fine high school and community backers, and we hope you will join us to thank each and every one of those businesses you heard during our game. Remember to always keep it tuned here for high school White Pine League postseason action. White Pine League Basketball, a Central Idaho Broadcasting Sports Presentation.